Today, I'm told we have something that's very exciting. That's what Jack said. It's what Mo said, but they didn't tell me much more. They just said I'm about to have some kind of an audio experience that's unparalleled, some kind of a unique audio experience, and I've had many. But today, it's gonna be different. There's three boxes over here. Apparently, these three devices are gonna work in tandem to create some sort of spatial audio type experience, but not in my headphones, in the actual environment. Let's go ahead and crack number one and see what this thing's all about. Ambiguous logo there. Whoa, is that the shape of it? It's called Sing. Ooh. Let's start here. This is a giant like Ziploc bag. I don't know that I've ever had an unboxing experience quite like this. It's almost like a puzzle. It's like an orb. Remove after assembly. Cell Alpha Table Stand Assembly. <laughs> All this unusual packaging. Ooh, serious stand. Oh, this is why they have such crazy packaging is because they want you to spin this. Since it's circular, you can't really place it on a table. So you run the cable through here. The whole thing is very robust. It has a, a premium feeling to it. I can sense that this is some relatively high-end audio gear just handling it. There's some thought that went into the cable management as well. You have this robust stand, but then it allows the cable to kind of feed out the back. I think I'm able to remove this portion now. Whoa. <laughs> that is like some type of alien orb. Wow. That is cool. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of transparency down here. You can see internal components. We have what look like tweeters around the entire perimeter here in a 360 degree fashion and then a large woofer on the top which has that same logo that I referenced earlier. There's a woofer down here which is built into the stand sort of. So it's like fully exposed. This is a, a quite a... This thing's still crinkling. Wow, it's amazing how long it can crackle for. It's like a crackling fire or something. That's gotta be one of the coolest looking speakers I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it looks like an art piece. It looks like a thing that you could enjoy looking at even if it did nothing, just in your environment. But yet, I happen to know that it's going to create sound. It's going to create a very unique sound experience, especially since we're gonna pair two more. So it's going to be three 360 degree speakers. These things are set up now, and I'm in the center of the triangle of power. There's three of them, hence the triangle aspect. Now these things are powerful and immersive on their own with 360 degree audio. But when you pair up three of them, one, two, and one behind me, then they go to the next level. They have this calibration process using the speaker components and the microphone components to learn where in space one another happens to be. 
Now, as far as sending audio to these speakers, there's some different options. Spotify is supported in the app list, but it also has AirPlay. So anything that you can play via AirPlay, whether it's on your phone, or I was even streaming from the Mac Pro over there. You can also input a laptop directly via USB-C in a type of like DJ scenario, but I think most people are gonna use this wirelessly. And then what happens is your source will pop up in the middle. I can click on my source specifically, control volume in this fashion, play pause, obviously. For the purpose of this and for the purpose of copyright type scenarios, we're gonna play some local files. So you can see they're called Lou Later Cells. That's the three speaker units and it's available just as a speaker on the OS level. You see what I'm saying? And then this is when stuff gets pretty cool. So if I go back to the app, it's in the center right now. So the optimal spot to listen to this is like, I don't know, maybe here. And the closer I get to here, the more it becomes hard to distinctively say where the audio source is. It sort of just feels like the room, the audio is in the room. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Now, check this out. I can take the audio source and send it to any one of the speakers. So it's interesting the way your brain perceives it. Like now I imagine a physical speaker and it is a 360 degree speaker, but I, I know the sound is coming from there. Now the sound is over there. Hopefully the microphone here can kind of simulate what's going on. And then I'll go to the speaker behind me. Now this would be cool for a multi-room setup. This could be cool if you just wanna tune your audio for a particular space. You wanna feel like the audio is coming from a certain direction. But I think the, the way in which most people will use this is by sort of creating an optimal listening space and then configuring it in that way. So I can kind of be on this side or over here. And you can see you can either encompass one, two, or three of the speakers. Now, since they are all 360 degree speakers in and of themselves, you can still target audio to a specific section, even with only one speaker. Should we play like a more recognizable sound that we're allowed? Oh, this, that's exactly what I was gonna suggest. Nice. surprising part for people because you look at the scale of it. How's that gonna represent all the low end? You don't have to worry about that. It's got tremendous thump to it. It's got a real sub-like feeling to it. It's hard to describe the experience. It's kind of like a movie theater because of the way surround sound works, And but that's typically still mixed to be coming from the front of you. This really feels like you're inside of the sound. Each one of these things is more than capable on its own. It is right up there with the most powerful individual Wi-Fi or Bluetooth speakers that I've tested fully wireless. 